Tools. Game developers reach for tools all the time, whether using Excel sheets for character stats or Photoshop for logo design. Tools come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes, but they all aim to reduce time and effort with a given task. Hello Turtles, I'm Tim Bodette, and I'm talking about my recent adventure building and releasing Shadow Ghost Pro for the Unity Asset Store. I don't have any financial statistics yet, so subscribe and let me know in the comments if you're interested. Instead, we will examine why the project was created, how it was planned, and the hurdles discovered along the way. Hang out for an announcement a bit later. Why? You might remember from an older video that I changed plans in April 2020 to create Accelerate. Originally, I was exploring Unity to create assets and tools like Shadow Ghost Pro for game developers to spend less effort while enhancing the player experience. It was the right call to make at the time, but I was always left wondering. The idea of building tools that help developers save time and energy is appealing, especially if there's a chance that it can supplement my game dev runway. Also, while prototype or using Unity myself, I will gain an advantage on my own creations. Like the next time I create a racing game prototype, it will take 60 seconds or less to add a ghost car feature. Any tools I create will be related to racing games to remain aligned with my business goals so I can leverage my expertise for others. Having built many racing games, I have an understanding of what a developer needs to solve certain problems. While making the winter expansion for Accelerate, I added a ghost for players to improve their best times as they compete on the leaderboards. As I am very comfortable with the requirements, I wrote my own and it fit my needs well. A few months later, I participated in a game jam and created Terrible Breaks, which called for a ghost car to increase playability. I was able to reuse parts and notice the repeatable pattern. It became clear how I could create an asset to add ghosts that developers could plug and play into their own games with minimal effort. The idea idled for several months while I was busy with other projects, but finally as my adventure approached a fork, I was able to pursue Shadow Ghost Pro. The plan. The plan was simple. Build an asset, release it, profit. Really, I expected it would take about two weeks to develop this tool in a more generic and robust manner while taking another week to make a splashy store page and some marketing content. This short dev cycle reduced the risk with a smaller budget but also unlikely to hit large sales numbers. Once the lights turned green and I started doing Shadow Ghost Pro, I had to put my head into the helmet of other developers that would want to use such an asset. What would I want the Ghost asset to provide for my game and how would I want to add it to my game? How should it interact with my objects and how can it save me the most time? These are few questions I asked and answered as it approaches the problem from the perspective of the target audience. I made a point to ensure Shadow Ghost Pro could be added to an existing game in less than 60 seconds by using a single function. Pre-development. The first day of developing Shadow Ghost Pro, I bought and installed three assets that provided similar ghost recording capabilities and proceeded to add them, one at a time, to my own game. This was a rather hit and miss. One asset actually provided a whole replay system and the ghost was sort of an added feature. This caused their documentation to be quite verbose and somewhat too powerful for the requirements I had. It did fulfill the role, but it was also overcomplicated. The next one was, hmm, how to say kindly, lower effort? The documentation was barely there, but I managed to work through it. After digging through the asset, it wasn't too hard for me to understand how to add it to the ghost, so I continued. It felt a bit clunky, but did eventually solve the problem as promised. It seemed to lack easy customization of the ghost appearance, at least without replacing prefabs within the asset directly. The final asset I installed had example scenes that were very confusing. All three assets seem to require input in their example scenes, so I suspect that is somewhat normal. That said, it caused unnecessary friction with my project due to the old versus new input systems. This pushed me to ensure I would not inflict similar pain as I built Shadow Ghost Pro. This review of the existing assets was extremely useful for planning my project and gave me the confidence the idea could deliver something better. Development I got a jump start from the code of the ghost I already added to Accelerate and began generalizing it for other games. This quickly presented a lot more challenges than I foresaw. Making a feature that works in specific situations is quite easy when you have more control, but when you stop making assumptions and still desire a working feature, it demands much more effort. It took a lot of trial and error to allow Shadow Ghost Pro to work without any specific information, but in the end, I had to set up a single rule that each ghost object requires a unique name. It seems likely that this will naturally happen and not inflict future pain, 
but it was required for saving and loading ghost files. With the goal to be as simple to use as possible, I wanted to provide the developers with a ghost that just worked after dragging and dropping a single component without loads of extra setup for visuals. By adding a template object that copies mesh filter of recorded objects, it can recreate the original mesh appearing as a ghost during playback. I also wanted the developer to have full control over how the ghost appeared, unlike one of the assets I tried. To do this, they just need to create their own prefab object and attach it to the ghost recorder, and it could look however they desire. This was very important because sometimes ease of use comes with a lack of options. I reduced the number of options in the most basic use case to allow the user to drag a single component, call a single function, and have a functional ghost in their game with no further effort. If the developer desires more options, they can create an instance of the ghost manager directly and have access to additional settings in case they want to manually save and load or change the save directory or other options. Documentation. Building a tool for other developers requires teaching them how to use it, almost always through documentation. It can be quite a challenge to write clear, concise instructions. I scheduled myself two days for this, which involved code cleanup and taking notes while running through new test projects. Each part of the API, or any question I could consider while integrating a new pro into a new project, was noted, and later answered. This actually opened up a handful of new use cases because I was using a whole different project to test with. I actually made a copy of Accelerate, removed the old Ghost system, then added Shadow Ghost Pro. Despite starting with the Accelerate Ghost, adding the asset into the new copy did not go as smoothly as expected. This was great to find and allowed me to fix a few unexpected edge cases and also prompted further testing. I organized the README file into a quick start, extra features, and troubleshooting areas for developers to jump into quickly. I took a small break and came back a few days later to process the information again with new eyes. This fresh look allowed me to find and change confusing bits into intelligible and helpful statements. Promotion. As I write this script, I'm still trying to find where to tell other developers about this tool, but obviously I need to do better than just drop it on the asset store and walk away. It should go live on the asset store around the same time this video is released, and hopefully I've solved this problem a little bit. That said, if you or someone you know has a game that could use a ghost to show the player their best run, give Shadow Ghost Pro a try. Aside from posting in a few developer-centric places, this will be a challenge. The announcement I promised from earlier is that I just released this asset with a launch discount you can take advantage of right now. In the next 60 seconds, you will see how to add a ghost to your game with Shadow Ghost Pro. Great for racing games, displaying a high score run, or supporting the speedrunning community of your game. Shadow Ghost Pro comes with a couple scripts and simple visuals to add a ghost to your game. Simply add the included ghost recorder component to the game objects you wish to record. This will automatically create the ghost manager and visuals. Then in your scripts, call reset recording and playback from the ghost manager. The first parameter will copy the current ghost recording to playback when true, like the player completing a better lap or score. The second parameter is a unique name for saving and loading the ghost runs to file. And that is all you need to add a ghost to your game. Supply custom ghost objects to override defaults to match your vision, and more options are available. Support speedrunners, show best runs, and do it all quickly without any effort using Shadow Ghost Pro. Grab your copy now. Shadow Ghost Pro was just released today, which means it is too early to know if it was a successful project in helping others build games faster or easier. Go to the Unity Asset Store to give it a try if you think it fits your project. It supports my indie adventure and these videos. If you wish to support me for free, you can share this video with others, do the thumbs up or subscribing thing, and leave a question below. Until later, turtles, have a good one. Do you know the benefits of using an existing engine?